comedy. Does the camera zoom in to show that I use like an off-brand cocoa butter? Oh wait, I'm I'm no, I moved. I, you can just kind of see. Am I still in a good spot? What did you have like the whole interview? You had like something right here. I just never told you. <laughs> yep, I've had that happen before. National television. Mm. Welcome to FreeLovingBullshit.com television. I'm your host, Giancarlo Williams. And with me, I have a very special guest, Flab Gang Zone, Young Yada, right here live in the flesh. What's up, you guys? How you doing, man? Good. But yeah, man, I, word on, on the streets is, you know, uh, that you just dropped your first mixtape entitled Out Here. Give us all a break. I mean, uh, start it over. <laughs> Welcome to FreedomLovingBullshit.com television. I'm your host, Giancarlo Williams, and with me is a very special guest, straight from the streets of Detroit, Young Yada, right here. What's up, man? I'm doing pretty good. Nice to finally catch up with you, man. So look, man, I, I hear that you just dropped your first mixtape entitled Out Here. Uh, give us a brief summary of how that project just worked out for you, or like came about. Man, Out Here came about as first just me wanting to try to see if I could rap. I um, actually did a first freestyle, it was called Dream Chasers. It was actually right when uh, Meek Mill had dropped his Dream Chaser track. And I was really feeling it, I really was feeling that beat, and so I just rapped on top of it. It's funny though, because that song actually ended up not making a mixtape, but it opened up the creativity for the actual whole album. That was the first song that you ever made? Yeah, first song I ever made. Wow. All right, then I was looking at the actual mixtape like album art, the like mm -hmm. cover art, mm -hmm. and I heard that you actually came up with the idea for the actual art. Mm -hmm. So tell me how that even came about. Man, that album art actually started out as just a line on a page, mm -hmm. and then it went from that line to turn it into a branch, and then that branch started connecting to other branches. It was just it was just crazy how I thought about it, but um. Initially, what it symbolizes is basically I'm that tree mm -hmm. that's, you know, but I'm grounded. I'm still down to earth. I'm grounded in where I come from. And, um, you know, the sun is shining on me to let me, you know, let you know that I, it's my time. I mm -hmm. feel like it's my time. Everybody has a point where they feel like it's, it's your time to go. Definitely, you know what I mean? Definitely. Not necessarily go like that, but <laughs> I don't want to put that energy out there. But no, honestly, it's my time to, to, to really just come out here and uh, show everybody what I'm mean. Alright, like would you say that, that you think of your your rap career as that first branch with this first mixtape that, that came out? Do you see yourself becoming that tree musically as your career progresses? And it's funny because that tree is actually a, a dead tree. It's like, you know, not even a lot of leaves on there. And so like, yes, like what you're saying is I definitely see myself sprouting mm -hmm. into other different things. I, I'm, I'm still blossoming, I'm still growing. You know, I'm letting people know that I'm not full grown yet, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely on the road to getting there. So. Still a dead tree. I'm still a dead tree. Okay. But remember that at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, next move or like what could your fans expect from you in the near future? In the near future, I actually have the idea for my next mixtape already. Um, it's called Generation X. And uh, basically in this mixtape, I'm really going to be grabbing the attention of my generation. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm not going to leave other generations out per se, but I'm definitely, I have something to say to our generation. And so I'm just really trying to get this idea out mm -hmm. there. but. It's, I still have more time to go Definitely. on this mixtape. I want to promote this first. Do you? Uh, so pretty much, what's your like synopsis or or something like? How how would you summarize Generation X like us as a people? Generation X as we are a generation. I feel like they call us Generation X for a reason. Mm -hmm. X marks the spot, and I feel like we're that generation that could possibly take this whole race into a whole nother direction mm -hmm. and it can either be good or bad you know what I mean and I feel like at this point we gotta really uh, our generation have to open up its mind mm -hmm. and really figure out what it is that we want the future to look like okay because we're the painters so definitely yes. it's all about the uh, artist yes man all right so you just put out out here and you talk about your uh, next mixtape coming up generation X but do you have any singles that you plan on releasing that's like middle ground area, like at that bridge, because people are waiting now that you got the first mixtape. Like, do you have any singles about the drop? I have some freestyles that I have in the oven, you know. I'm not prepared to just 
they still cooking, so put it to you like that. But I definitely have some freestyles coming very soon for some people, you know, for anybody that's trying to listen, you know, for the supporters. So. Okay, what's your favorite song if you have one or top three songs off of out here? Three favorite songs. Um, my first favorite song is Good Days. I really like Good Days just because it's a uh, very upbeat song. It's very positive. And that's more so the core of who I am as an artist, you know. I definitely have a positive message that I want to, um, not necessarily preach to people, but I definitely have a message that I want to get out there. So Good Days is a good representation of all of that. And then I, my next, the next one I like, uh, I don't know, it's a tie between two. I have four, so. <laughs> If you want to say top four, exactly. top four don't, the, don't hold back. No, but um, I have two freestyles that I do in this mixtape, and one of them is called Up My Spot. And that one is just me spitting fire, you know, just really trying to show my capabilities of who I am as a, a MC. Okay. And then if I wasn't rapping, it's, it's similar in that, that idea. That so crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Billy GC for Very that, producer, for that man, mixtape, that. yeah man, he definitely helped me out with this mixtape, so. Speaking of Billy GC, I, uh, I was reading, and most of your songs are produced by Billy GT. Mm -hmm. So like, what are y'all trying to, like, 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 do you see yourself keep working with Billy or like, are you going to branch out? Oh, definitely. I'm going to keep working with Bentley, though. Um, what me and Bentley have as a, as a team mm -hmm. is basically what Missy Elliott and Timbaland mm -hmm. had to give to the game back in the day, you know what I mean? Even though we're still growing in our sound and we're still trying to figure out what it is that we have to offer the game, mm -hmm. it's still like you can just hear these beats on this mixtape. You can hear like my flows and you can just see that our styles mesh well together. And so, like, I can just only imagine what this generation is. like growth, man. Yeah, the growth is going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. Definitely. Definitely. All right, so what do you feel like the rap game is missing at this particular point? And, like, what are you doing to fill that void as an artist? Man, I feel like what the rap game is missing right now is definitely a female, a positive female artist. Not to say that Nicki Minaj isn't a positive female artist, but like we don't have a Lauren Hill right now. We don't have, you know, uh, Erica Badu, you know what I mean? And so, not to say that I'm going to be a Lauren Hill or I'm going to be an Erica Badu because I have my own lane and my own, you know, space to fill, but I definitely want to give that vibe to people. Like, I want people to know that it's it's more than just my body. I'm more than just, you know, what I'm wearing and stuff like that. Um, you know, I have a positive message that I want to give to these people because we need it. Uh, honestly, so like, especially, you know, us coming from Detroit, man. Exactly. A lot of positivity is needed. So, man, it's a lot of positive things going on in the exactly. city right now. Exactly. Media competition. They trying to tear us down, but they can't. <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking, man, and uh. All you niggas be fucking boosting, repay each day. I be running this shit, nigga, relay. You should have wrote these questions down. No, I want to talk to you. That's why I didn't write it down. We should have had an order to this. No? <laughs> so, like, what made you want to pursue rapping? What made me want to pursue rapping? Actually, I wanted to be a rapper when I was little, honestly. Like, when I was 10 years old, I made a rap. I did. Do you still know it? Yep. <laughs> so, 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 so. I said, I'm 10 years old. I come straight from Detroit. Detroit. I better than the girls and most of the boys that don't get better than this. You better watch out before you get hit. I'm hot. I got lyrics to prove. I'm so cool. I break a move, man. Like, and then you end up like. I, I broke a move. Because here, cause here we are talking. <laughs> So yeah, I was living with some roommates and uh, they really had some skills and so definitely they reminded me of that old love that I had for hip hop and just rapping. And so honestly, when I was younger I felt like I wouldn't have been able to be a rapper because I was a girl. And it was like a Are you implying that you're no longer a girl? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you moved no, on past that's, that? That's not what I'm saying. I hate you. But uh <laughs> But anyway. But definitely, I, you know, being older now, more wise, I know that, you know, gender doesn't have anything to do with you. That's pretty awesome. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We gotta get you on the radio, man. Definitely.
Definitely. That's the only way to, to, to go into Detroit. Get like, me on the radio, man. I'm doing this for y'all. Remember that. And I also heard that you are with Flav Gang, and y'all have some merchandise coming out. I heard that. Oh, most definitely. Freedom of the Bullshit.com. Better check it out. The home of everything dope. But uh, yeah, we have some merchandise coming. We have some more videos. We have everything for our fans and supporters, definitely. Collaborations with other productions. Definitely, definitely. Keep looking out for that, you guys. What artist in, inspires you the most? Start over, do it again. Okay. <laughs> so, what artist inspires you the most and why? Artist that inspires me the most right now is Missy Elliott. And that's weird because, not necessarily to say that Missy Elliott's weird or anything like that, but like Missy Elliott is my inspiration because I like what she gave to hip hop mm -hmm. in the time that she came. Like, she's still here giving us good songs, good hit singles, and that's what I can admire of an artist mm -hmm. of her caliber, is that no matter what, she keeps coming back and, you know, coming back with uh, new creative things. Definitely. And that's what I want to do. I always want to be able to recreate myself and always stay um, relevant. Oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah. and We keep using the word artist. What's your definition of the word artist in comparison to a rapper, per se? And it's a total difference, I feel like. Um, I feel like it's when you're an artist. Put it to you like this. I feel like the difference between an artist and a rapper is the difference between like an amateur and an actual Picasso. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like. Because like everybody can draw a picture, but not everybody can make a picture mean something mm -hmm. to the point where it's captivating millions of lives. You know what I mean? And as far as when you're an artist, hip hop is an art. And not to, you know, not to like put down anybody else or what anybody's trying to do in the game, but um, some artists aren't really about the art. You know, they're just about, you know, putting hit singles out there and just trying to be what's hot. Yeah, but is. as an artist, you can't worry about that. You can never let what the media or what these people are saying get to your creativeness. Because if you do, you're going to end up sounding just, just like everyone else. So as far as me so as an artist, uh -huh. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that I can still give the people what they want, uh -huh. but I'm also gonna open your mind to my own mind and my thoughts and do it in a creative way that you can enjoy, man. And like, I, I feel like on, on the song, If I Wasn't Rapping, you definitely show some versatility. Yeah. Even with the beat with uh, Bentley, what he did there was crazy, but like you would spit your verse and then in the midst during the like beat breakdown, you would spit spoken word in a yeah. sense. And I'm like, yo, it's not too many people doing this, man. No, and honestly, as far as um, as, as far as that goes, my rapping did start out as just poetry at first, you know. Um, and then, of course, it ventured off. It went from me just writing freestyle poems to freestyle rhymes, mm -hmm. and like it was just. It's, it's amazing to see where I've come, gone with it so far, but yeah, I have more spark, spoken word and I got more music and good lyrics to give the world, so Man, definitely gotta stay tuned. That's crazy because like I had started off being a poet because but I don't know, man. Like I, I can only write sometimes. Like, like somebody about to cheat on me for me to write a poem. Like I couldn't just write a poem, man. So I just right did, did, uh, admire artists that could just be in like any mood mm -hmm. and still give that like paper what it needs. Exactly. So I just admire you for for that, man. I'm excited for your new hit singles, man. I, I, I kind of need you to drop. That are like go around, man, because that's my favorite song uh, on the album, man. The run around, definitely. Who, who's you singing about, man? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell me, man. Who was you singing about in that song? No, honestly, <laughs> that song isn't necessarily about anybody. That was just the. Uh, it's a collection of thoughts and memories that I've had of, mm. you know, just lovers or anybody that you've admired, you know, throughout your life. Everybody has a, a crush or everybody has somebody that, you know, just put them in that mood, you know, so that song is more so just me trying to reach out to those who are in that, for the Drake fans, you know, uh -huh. that all in their feelings and stuff. To like cuddle. You know, the, like the cuddle, definitely that song is for them. Alright, so where do you see yourself and your business going in the next five years? Like, just with Flag Game, Freedom and Bullshit.com, you like, as an artist, like, like what's the goal? 
go for me, I definitely don't want to just be a rap artist for the rest of my life. You know, I feel like you know some people, some people can work. It can work for them that way. But as for me, I'm not gonna be just somebody that's gonna stick around like for 12 albums. You know what I mean? Like I do want to give you the best of me in the meantime while I'm still doing this. But you know, I got. I'm trying to get my Oprah on. I'm trying to True. invest in different things. If you want question with like having like a Chinese karate mouth, like. So, do you have <laughs> one of those? Can we do that? Can, come on. I, I hate you. <laughs> so, how did you come up with the name Young Yada? Doing it right. <laughs> So what made me initially want to name myself Yada is, actually the name kind of just came to me when I was in the shower one day. And I was coming up with all these stupid little names, like stupid, stupid. What was the first couple names? Like, I'm not a, a saying trial it names. because it was so stupid. This that, is an intimate interview, but like, you know, people want to know. Like, I called myself Kamikaze because I was like, I'm going to blow up on these bitches. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But you know that didn't I'm work happy out. That you didn't. I, it, it didn't work out. So you know, <laughs> then I thought about it, and then with my rapping style, I rap fast, and so Yada just seems to fit. You know. Yada translates into rapping fast. Yep. Originally. Like, like yada 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 yada. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, yada, yada. <laughs> All right. Now it makes way more sense. Yep, All right. Yada, got yada, it. Yada, yada. Got yep. it. Got it. Got it. Cool. All right. <laughs> Well, thank you for stopping by, man. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. Check this uh, interview out on freedomloveandbullshit.com, home of everything dope. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Giancarlo Flab Gang in the Fast Lane, and we are... Yeah.